is an Eva Perone moment. Hi, <laughs> Hi everyone. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for coming today. Keystone XL Pipeline. This is the Keystone XL Pipeline. The 
This pipeline would allow the tar sands. This pipeline would allow the tar sands to double its daily extraction. To double its daily extraction. President Obama. President Obama. And him alone. And him alone. Rejects or accepts the pipeline. Rejects or accepts the pipeline. He is weighing his decision. He is weighing his decision. And will decide soon. And will decide soon. WikiLeaks have revealed. WikiLeaks have revealed that officials in the State Department. That officials in the State Department illegally accepted money. Illegally accepted money from a Trans Canada lobbyist. From a Trans Canada lobbyist. And in return, Trans Canada. And in return, Trans Canada was able to choose. Was able to choose who would conduct. Who would conduct the environmental impact review. The environmental impact review. That's not democracy. And a cozy business partner of Trans Canada. And a cozy business partner of Trans Canada conducted the review. Conducted the review. And you guessed it. And you guessed it. They said everything's fine. They said everything's fine. Now here are a few facts. Now here are a few facts. The pipeline would cross America's largest wetland. The pipeline would cross America's largest wetland. And America's largest water aquifer. And America's largest water aquifer. Scary. Scary. And even more scary. And even more scary. Tar sand oil contains sand. Tar sand oil contains sand. And sand blasts the inside of the pipe. And sand blasts the inside of the pipe. And is proven to be 16 times. And is proven to be 16 times. More likely to break a pipe. More likely to break a pipe. My evaluation. My evaluation. Is the pipeline is guaranteed. Is the pipeline is guaranteed. To poison the wetland. To poison the wetland. And to poison the water aquifer. And to poison the water aquifer. They are irreplaceable. They need to be protected. They need to be protected. President Obama stopped the Keystone XL pipeline. President Obama stopped the Keystone XL pipeline. People here today. People here today. Send him an email. Send him an email. Call him. Call him. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. The number of people doing this. The number of people doing this. Is substantial. Is substantial. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Make this issue a part of your life. Make this issue a part of your life. It's everyone's world. It's everyone's world. And we have the right to decide. And we have the right to decide. Our future. Our future. So stay tuned. So stay tuned. Because if Obama allows this pipeline. Because if Obama allows this pipeline. We need thousands of people. We need thousands of people. For civil disobedience. For civil disobedience. At the site. At the site. Where the pipeline. Where the pipeline. Tries to enter the United States. Tries to enter the United States. Together we are the answer. Together we are the answer. Love is the answer. Love is the answer. Some people may wonder. Some people may wonder. How is love the answer? How is love the answer? It's love for life. It's love for life. That brings us to action. That brings us to action. And action. And action. Is the answer. Is the answer. Furthermore. Furthermore. We should all get brain cramps. We should all get brain cramps. Trying to figure out. Trying to figure out. How to shut down extraction. How to shut down extraction. At the tar sands completely. At the tar sands completely. And lastly. And lastly. Take a moment. Take a moment. And think about the thousands and thousands. And think about the thousands and thousands of sick and cancerous. Of sick and cancerous. Pre-European. Pre-European. First Nation people. First Nation people. Whom Canada refuses to help. Whom Canada refuses to help. Refuses to recognize. Refuses to recognize. Living near the tar sands. Living near the tar sands. And ask yourself. And ask yourself. Why are they so sick? Why are they so sick? It may be up to us Americans. It may be up to us Americans to stop Canada's madness. To stop Canada's madness. And I, for one, and I, for one, would risk my life. Would risk my life to save this world. To save this world. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Yeah.